Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the vlog. Today I'm heading to Van Vieng. So I'm going by minibus. Pickup is at nine from my hotel here. It costs 130,000 kip, which is about 15 US dollars. I think the trip takes about five hours. Minivan is the quickest option. Yes, they're gonna get breakfast. Hop on this bus. It's supposed to be a pretty scenic drive. Apparently a lot of people get sick from all the curves. So I've arrived at my accommodation here in Vang Vien. And this place cost me 45 US dollars for two nights, so that's some pretty decent value. It's called Laos Haven Hotel. Bus trip in total took about four hours, and there's like, a, not including the half an hour break, and there was like another 15 minute break. Overall, it wasn't the worst, it's quite bumpy. A uh, minivan would be definitely the quickest way to get there. Just some like Chinese person in front who had the seat back, so I didn't have much room to pull my long legs. But um, anyway, this is look at the room. Not bad at all for two nights. Bathroom's a bit small. Got some high quality clothes hangers. And a decent view. As you can see, you got the mountains up there. I'm planning for the rest of the day. I want to hit up a gym. There's a gym nearby here. I also got to book some stuff. I want to do hot air ballooning. There's um, tubing. There's a bunch of adventure activities here in Vang Vien. It's a pretty small town. So not too hard to get around. Yeah, we'll see what we get up to. So just book the hot air ballooning tomorrow. Pickup is at 6 a.m. It costs 87 US dollars, so it's pretty much the cheapest place you can do hot air ballooning in the world. So plans for tonight are to hit up the Vang Vien night market, always off an Asian night market. Always good, cheap street food, good vibes. Vang Vien is known to be a party destination. Back in the day, it used to be like a popular spot for all the backpackers to like get high, take drugs. They got pretty rowdy back in the day. Yeah, I've got the um, hot air ballooning tomorrow, so Got an early start for the sunrise. Here, gonna check out this night market. So the night market has a lot of clothes, mainly clothes and souvenirs. Not as many street food stores as I would have thought. Picked up this pork skewer, cost 5,000 kip. Overall, I prefer the Luang Prabang night market more. My legs are Just had dinner there and picked up a sandwich. Had absolutely everything on it. Pretty much egg, cheese, bacon, chicken. Cost 30,000 kip. was freaking delicious. Got an early start tomorrow for the hot air ballooning. Catch you then. The next day. Today I'm going hot air ballooning. So that's at 6 a.m. I'm getting picked up from the hotel. And then plans after that is to go tubing. That's like the most popular activity here in Vang Vien. Pretty much you hire a tube, go down the river, stop off at bars, get drunk. It's a good time. Also, I want to hit up the Jang Cave. There's a bunch of caves here in Vang Vien also. I'm going to try and fit all of that in today. It's my first full day. If not, I might stay another night. <laughs>
Nick mana? Alrighty, so just made it back from the hot air ballooning. It's about half an hour in the air and it was a pretty incredible experience. There was um, 10 people in total, so they like balanced out five people on each side. It was pretty cool to see the whole process of how they get the hot air balloon up and running. And when you're up there, it's pretty incredible. Like the sun was um, peaking over the mountains. That's from what I know the cheapest place you can do hot air ballooning in the world. I definitely recommend the hot air ballooning. The good thing about this is it's only 7.30 in the morning, so I'm going to be able to fit in a lot of activities today. So to enter the cave, you need to buy a ticket. It only costs 5,000 kit. So right now I'm crossing the Golden Gate Bridge. It's pretty epic. It leads onto these big, um, big ass hills in front of me. Got the river. Pretty nice. So just picked up this like honeycomb, which has been like fried. It costs 10,000 kip. I've heard about these. Of course it's wrapped in banana leaves, like everything here. Give it a taste. Oh, what? It has like cream in it, like condensed milk or something. Whoa. It like bursts out. It's not crunchy. Can't really taste too much honey. I don't know if I like that to be honest. It's like, it's like condensed milk. You can't really taste honey. And it like bursts out. It's a weird texture. It's like chewy. Not much honey. It's like bite into a, a chewy, something chewy and then it bursts out with condensed milk. It's not the best. So entrance into the actual cave cost 15,000 kip. This cave is pretty impressive. It's quite big. Almost ride my ankle twice, so you have to watch your step. Just had a big breakfast there, got satay and lao noodle soup. Yeah, so pretty full now, but that's a good thing because I'm gonna hit up the tubing. Gotta go to the tube rental place. Yeah, you pretty much catch a tuk-tuk there. I gotta get a waterproof bag. Yeah, it's supposed to take about four hours to um, get down stream. That's like not including the stops at the bars. Yeah, I guess it's gonna be a big day. So I'm just packing what I need for the tubing and um, the things I'd recommend, obviously sun cream. That's something you always um, think you don't need, but then you always end up burning. GoPro, got mine charged in there. Yeah, with your GoPro, you're gonna be able to capture all those sick memories. And then I'm um, pretty much just a Ziploc bag. Ch chuck some money in there. Gonna need that for the drinks and everything, of course. Yeah, pretty much sun cream, like a GoPro camera and money. You pretty much just want to minimize what you bring and probably just fongs, chuck, chuck them in your um, waterproof bag. So yeah, gotta pick up a waterproof bag. One other thing is when you're filling out the registration form, I'm pretty sure you need your passport number. So um, you obviously don't want to bring your passport or shouldn't even bother bringing copies. But um, yeah, what I've done, I just wrote it down on my hand. Yeah, keep that in mind. So just pick me up a waterproof bag, cost 40,000 kip. Can you jump off that? Thank you. 
are you a good painter? Yes. So, you, what type of, what type of painting do you do? So just got back from the tubing there and it's a pretty sick experience. Yeah, definitely recommend it. Basically, what I've done was hire a tube, costs 60,000 kip. Pretty much you get picked up with a tuk tuk and go straight to the starting point. You hop in your tube and then you're off. There's no deposits or no like um, forms you have to fill out really. Yeah, just 60,000 kip. I went to like one of the local like tour companies on, on the road. Yeah, then I got picked up. So 60,000 kip and then there was only um free bars, but there's lots of like cool people you meet. Yeah, definitely rec recommend the tubing. Obviously, it's really popular, but it wasn't as wild as it used to be. Still a little bit intoxicated, but I do need to plan what I'm gonna do t for tomorrow because um, I'm checking out t tomorrow. I'm thinking of heading to the capital of Vienten, so I've got to organize that as well. So, yeah, I'll catch you when I do. 